It's 10 trivia questions on Black History Month music. This is Trivia with Buds. It be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for telling a friend who loves trivia to give it a listen. If you are a trivia host and you're looking for content, go to my Etsy page, which is linked in all the show notes. You can download Instant Games. Got one up for St. Patrick's Day this weekend, Sunday, March 17th, 2024. If you want to grab it, it's a $10 download. You get a full Five round game with an answer key and answer sheets and everything you need to run St. Patrick's Day themed trivia. The rounds are on Irish heritage and green things and the month of March and uh, famous Pats, Patties, and Patricks. And then sort of a confidence round on more Irish and uh, Ireland and green related stuff at the end. So if you're looking for that package, check it out, etsy.com slash shop slash trivia with buds. We're up to about 150 sales uh, which I think I had maybe 70 before I started the instant downloads. Uh, so those have been ramping up, which is very, very cool, and trying to add new games every couple of days. So working on one that is uh, 25 rounds, and oh man, how many questions would that be? About 250 questions or so. So uh, it'll be a big general knowledge download, 25 rounds, $25, and uh, that'll be up in the next week or so. So check it out. Uh, before we get into Black History Month music for our theme today, we've got the warm-up letter of G. And we have celebrities, things that have spots, and kinds of candy. Celebrities, things that have spots, and kinds of candy, all starting with a G. Listen for my three at the end of the episode, along with a fun fact of the day about dogs and weddings. Get ready. We're all warmed up and we're ready, and we're diving into this quiz on Black History Month music. Here we go. It's Black History Month music. Celebrated this one at the end of February and recording it here a couple weeks later. Let's see what you know. Number one, what member of the Fugees won the Grammy Award for Best New Artist in 1998? Number one, what member of Fugees won the Grammy Award for Best New Artist 1998? Question number two, who performed Higher Ground with Usher and Shakira at the We Are One concert in 2009? Number two, who performed Higher Ground with Usher and Shakira at the We Are One concert in 2009? Number three, Prince's home and studio Paisley Park is located in what state? Number three, Prince's home and studio Paisley Park is located in what state? Number four, Maroon 5 has a song called If I Never See Your Face Again, featuring what singer born in Barbados? Number four, Maroon 5 has a song called If I Never See Your Face Again, featuring what singer born in Barbados? Number five, in what decade did the song Jumpin' Jumpin' by Destiny's Child come out? Number five, in what decade did the song Jumpin' Jumpin' by Destiny's Child come out? Number six, who had the song Girl on Fire? Number six, who had the song Girl on Fire? Number seven, what city is the group Boys to Men from? Chicago, Philadelphia, or Boston? Where is Boys to Men from? Chicago, Philadelphia, or Boston? Number eight, who won the third season of American Idol? Who won the third season of American Idol? Number nine, who is the number one streamed artist of the decade for the 2010s? Number nine, who is the number one streamed artist of the decade for the 2010s? Number 10, what's the first word in the lyrics to Michael Jackson's Beat It? Number 10, what's the first word in the lyrics to Michael Jackson's Beat It? And number 
11, the two-point bonus question for Black History Month music. What singer who rose to fame in the 90s is referred to as the Songbird Supreme by the Guinness Book of World Records? What singer who rose to fame in the 90s is referred to as the Songbird Supreme by the Guinness Book of World Records? Those are all your questions for Black History Month music. We'll be right back with the answers to see how you did after a word from our sponsors. We are back with the answers to Black History Month music. Let's see if you got them all right. Number one, what member of Fuji's won the Grammy Award for Best New Artist in 1998? That was Lauryn Hill, who you can see acting in Sister Act 2, Lauryn Hill. Number two, who performed Higher Ground with Usher and Shakira at the We Are One Festival in 2009? That was Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder. Number three, Prince had a uh, home and studio called Paisley Park, and it's located in Minnesota. Minnesota. You can go visit it. It's sort of a museum now. Number four, Maroon 5 has a song called If I Never See Your Face Again, featuring Rihanna, who was born in Barbados. Rihanna. Number five, in what decade did the song Jumpin' Jumpin' by Destiny's Child come out? It was the 90s, the very end, 1999. Number six, who had the song Girl on Fire from the Hunger Games uh, soundtrack was my original question. And someone told me it's actually not from the Hunger Games soundtrack. Uh, It is nothing to do with the Hunger Games, even though they call Katniss Everdeen the uh, girl on fire or that girl's on fire. It was Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys had a song called Girl on Fire, number six. Number seven, what city is the group Boys to Men from? They are from Philadelphia. Number eight, who won the third season of American Idol? Fantasia. Also a Disney movie title. Number nine, who is the number one streamed artist of the decade for the 2010s? Drake. 2C Slide, my son Tommy's favorite dance song. And number 10, what's the first word in the lyrics to Michael Jackson's Beat It? It's they, they. And the bonus for two points, Songbird Supreme is Mariah Carey. There you have it, Black History Month music. Hope you had a good time playing along today. And uh, we have our fact of the day. Many states allow your dog to be a witness at your wedding. Some states allow the dog to also officiate your wedding with a paw print. That's fantastic. I feel like the state of Tennessee would not let that fly, but maybe a more uh, lackadaisical wedding state would be like, yeah, you could have your dog do it. So there you have it. Uh, And your letter was G, celebrities, I'm going to say Goldie Hawn, things that have spots, drafts, and kinds of candies, the everlasting gobstopper. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for grabbing that St. Patrick's Day Etsy download at etsy.com slash shop slash trivia with buds. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers. Cheers.